this is Mari Lane on the Buy in Space channel. I'm dealing with a little bit of ragweed in the neighborhood today. I have a cold. Of course, you never know anymore what it's from, so you, you know, you need to be cautious. But this is from Colleen, and uh, I received it like this. I like recycling and reusing. I think this bag was originally sent from Tracy Cakes to Colleen, <laughs> and then Colleen recycled it and sent my merchandise to me in it, which I like recycling and reusing. waiting on Victoria today. She's uh, supposed to pick up some things for me and I'm supposed to get some things from her. Uh, we had some unfinished business from Ocala and then uh, when we meet in Daytona we'll probably um, have an exchange too. As far as I know right now uh, the Daytona meetup is on the 24th of September. We set it to uh, a couple of weeks after Labor Day. Okay, it's nice and bundled so it doesn't get damaged. And all in individual bags. Good on you, Colleen. I've enjoyed this watching you know the selections you have I really like what you have which is kind of dangerous for me because I'm on a budget okay and this is also recycled just my channel name is on there and this is looks like an Indian head penny pendant and a, a black pendant with uh, rhinestones on it, nice and sparkly. Both of these pieces are very unique. And that's Colleen's lot of merchandise. I find it unique and interesting. And here we have a beautiful clover like piece that's in the shape of a cross actually there's hearts and it also looks like clover with stem so it looks uh, a little bit of both oh and this is beautiful this pendant it has it's very cold very heavy heavy and significant i don't know what it is but it is beautiful. It's like layered in uh, taupe and tan. We'll go with a lot of suits. <laughs> you can wear that with blue too. Sometimes you wear browns and beige with blues and greens. I guess it would look better with a green suit. And here we again we have recycling my channel name ooh I love this pendant so let me recap here in the middle yep 
Yeah, that needs a, uh, this one needs a fine gold chain to go with it, or gold tech chain. The loop is small, so it's made for that. Um, also, these two over here before I move on. I love the abstractness of this that I can see clover in it, and I can see the cross, and I can see the hearts. Now this looks native. It's a turquoise color. Not sure if this is halite or not. It feels cool, but you know, sometimes it's just the beads that are that color and that's fun. Uh, this may have been a repurposed earring, but it's a very nice pendant or maybe not. Uh, it's got this mother of pearl edge and then the gold tone framing. Here's the back and the medallion piece. And here we have your basic black rectangle with silver pendant. There is a raised area in there that forms a symbol. I'm not familiar with it. I just took it as um, a black uh, onyx looking silver tone but I don't know if it's real silver or real onyx a lot of times you go to these auctions and the sellers don't know and that's fine um, it might be it's like this might be your lucky day kind of feeling <laughs> and here is a glass piece and this is very sophisticated how it has the flowers inside and has this three dimensional look with these flowers and they're um, teal colored and white with a dark background a little bit of gold and black in the background um, again it looks like it's Murano but maybe it's not so you don't know even, even if you do get um, a piece you're hoping for Murano and it's not who's going to question you when you're wearing it because it looks just as nice as Murano so uh, you've got a wonderful looking piece um, that you didn't pay up for that looks just as good as a designer piece. And it took extreme talent to make this piece, this glass piece. I mean, that's just gorgeous. And I love all these pendants. Thank you so much. I'm kind of getting a collection of pendants. I need to start at one point in time focusing on getting the right kinds of chains for the kinds of pendants I have and the length that I want. Although just owning them and collecting them is uh, really nice. I like looking at what I have. Uh, this knife, before I close, I bought from uh, George, as in uh, what the hell's George, a long time ago in a lot when she was on uh, Donatello Bartolino's, and uh, it's one of my favorite knives. My favorite knife is actually a knife owned by my father that's teal, and uh, he'll, he's been gone almost 12 years now, so uh, I have that vintage knife.